Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It's been a while since I made a YouTube video. I think it's been like a few weeks. I kind of decided after I made all my Christmas videos that I wanted to make that I would just kind of give myself the end of the year to just like chillax before I started the new year on my YouTube channel. If you don't know, I've been posting a lot on TikTok. So if you guys are interested, you can check out those little videos. It's a lot of like little vlogs and stuff like that kind of shorter form content of what I do on YouTube. So yeah, here we are starting new year fresh. I think my goal for this year on YouTube is to do weekly vlogs. It would keep me able to post like at least once a week and I would just film, you know, a few days out of the week, show you guys what my life is like, keep you updated. Jesse actually sent me this stuff. He had Bella, his assistant, bring it to my door yesterday. He's been in Netherlands for eight days. I think total it's 10 days or 11 days or something. Anyway, I was a little bit sad and missing him and I called him crying my eyes out after a night of drinking <laughs> and he felt really bad so he sent me a little gift to cheer me up Reese's are my favorite I had a rough hangover yesterday so today I'm just getting my life together it's Monday the beginning of the week fresh start and it's the second week of January so I figured what better time to start my New Year's YouTube journey than now me and all my tripods let me move that out of the way so I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit as I said yesterday I was hungover so I did not do anything I was so sick I never threw up so that was good but I did have to go and get an IV and I was eating this chicken soup right here. Okay, I guess I have like a few little life updates, but not really. I did take my extensions out. As you can see, my ponytail is a lot thinner and a lot smaller, but I'm on my road to my healthy hair journey. I want my hair to get back to what it used to be when I was in high school. It was just so thick and beautiful. And I feel like I've destroyed it over the years from just using too much heat. And then I got the extensions and then the extensions helped it get healthy, but I feel like it's not letting it get to its full potential. So that is my goal for also this year. I feel like I have a few small goals one is like grow my TikTok, focus on a regular YouTube posting, grow my hair back. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And also keep consistent with the gym, which I've been doing really good at. The cats are fighting. <laughs> Be nice to each other. This is my favorite breakfast recipe. I've been making this like the past few days and it's just so good. I just do some oats. Some water microwave that another goal of mine is making sure i eat enough i feel like back when i started working out i was really good at that and i like focused on eating but lately haven't been as good at it it sometimes is hard to remember to buy groceries and to want to have the motivation to cook food i started buying a meal plan from a local place and then also i've just been making sure that i make breakfast every morning so this oats recipe has been helping because it's so good so mix it up real good and then the ingredients are a little bit of vanilla extract, cinnamon, honey. Secret ingredient is a big scoop of Biscoff, which is cookie butter. This stuff is just literally amazing. So I put a big old heaping scoop of that in there and I let it melt. Some frozen blueberries. Mix it up really good. And then I usually top it with fresh fruit. So bananas, strawberries, blueberries, whatever you like. But right now I have fresh blueberries. So I'll just put some of those on top. And it is so good. I promise. Taste test. Mm. If you guys are interested in starting like social media, I've come to realize that TikTok, I mean, I feel like everyone knows this by now, but TikTok is the best way to do it. And the best way to grow a following is just to become consistent on there, like make content that you're proud of. Like I make these little vlogs that I do and it really does take like a good bit of the morning and then maybe takes me like an hour or so to sit down and like edit it, not even. I love doing it. Also, I've noticed my following has grown so much on there just because I've stayed consistent. I feel like the best way to have New Year's goals or whatever, I know some people think it's like, it shouldn't just be like the New Year that takes you to make goals, but I do feel like it's a really good fresh start. And I'm someone that likes to like take advantage of moments like that because I don't know, it's fun. And it's like a good way to like get yourself motivated and be like, okay, new year, new start, new me, whatever. But the best way to be consistent with your goals is to make small goals that are really easy to achieve. So like for me, it's like just making sure I post consistently or starting doing the weekly vlogs. Nothing too 
insane that I know is like unattainable, but all these goals I know that I'm capable of. <laughs> Hi, Murphy. Hi, baby. If you're someone that feels like you're struggling or like you don't know what to do about like your goals or whatever, like make some small goals. It can be as easy as making your bed every day. That's a goal. But you guys have to let me know if weekly vlogs sound like a good idea or if there's something else that you want me to post. YouTube is always like somewhere that I've struggled to know exactly what type of videos to make. So any ideas are welcome. I'm back from the gym. It's been a while. It's now dark outside, but I got caught up in filming my TikTok vlog. It's kind of hard to balance the both of them, but I'm I'm going to do my little night routine so I figured I would vlog it. I've been trying to be big on routines lately. I just feel like it kind of like keeps everything in order and stops me from laying in bed until it's like midnight and I still haven't washed my face. And also, as I said, I really want to get into taking really good care of my hair. I mean, I kind of have been so far, but I did order like a full new set of hair care from this brand called Day Hair. It's been popping up a lot of like ads and stuff and I kind of like read the ingredients ingredients and they had one that was like for hair that needs like moisture and anti-frizz and everything so that hasn't come yet i'm gonna like clean out my shower when it does and just like set it all up nice and cute i'll probably make a tiktok about that but i am gonna hop in the shower and do a little hair care routine and also i got these sponges from amazon i'm sure if you watch tiktok you've seen these at some point if you're on the type of tiktok that i'm on but they're like these heart sponges and it came in a pack of like rainbow they're like paper thin and when you stick them under the water they become like fluffy so i'm excited to use those tonight it's the little things in life you know that make you excited i've realized when you can romanticize your life and all the little things in it like something as simple as a skincare routine or taking the time to take care of your hair or taking the time to make a aesthetic coffee in the morning those are like the little things that genuinely keep you happy in life that's what I've realized. As you may be able to see right here, I installed lights from Amazon on my mirror in my rented apartment. And I like put them on and then I was like, okay, I kind of don't like them because you can see the wire and it looks kind of tacky. <laughs> I can't get them off. They're stuck like glue. I have to order glue on to get them off. But I will say, let me show you how they work. They have this little touch thing. Like they are really bright and it definitely helps with getting ready. So I think I'll just keep them a while, but getting them off is going to be a bitch. This is a towel warmer. My sister got it for me for Christmas and you just turn it on, set the time for what you want. Some fresh towel. Towel in and it'll be warm when it's ready for you to take it out. Okay, I'm gonna start my hair care routine. Don't be scared when I take this ponytail out. My hair's gonna look like disgusting. <laughs> Imagine it go out like this. I looked like this the other day and I told Devorah I look like Dog the Bounty Hunter. But well, I got this. It's JVN Complete Pre Wash Scalp Oil. So we're gonna try this out. You just take it and put it through your roots. Because I don't have extensions anymore, I can put things like this in my hair. And it's just like you put it in like 15 minutes before your shower and it's supposed to help with your hair growth. And I always forget about stuff like this. So I'm making it a point to not forget because it's supposed to be really good for you. And I have a scalp massager. I'm gonna show you what I do after. For Christmas, my brother got me, oh my God, it's dripping down my head. For Christmas, Brandon got me a bag of like the most random things but it was actually like the most cute gift ever. He's not a gift person, so it was like unexpected. I just thought it was really cute. So he got me this. I have one that's in the shower, but I figured this one could be my one for outside of the shower. So once you put all the oil in, you just take this and it stimulates your scalp and gets blood flow to your scalp. So it's supposed to help with hair growth. I have one for in the shower too, because when I'm shampooing my hair, I like to use it to really get in there and get all the grossness out. And it feels so good. Wow. This is really looking cute. Like it's like that wet look. I'm totally kidding. I don't look like that at all. It's like, oh. When Kim Kardashian does the wet look, except I just look like Dog the Bounty Hunter. So I'm just gonna massage that for like five minutes and really get it in there good and then let it sit for a good 15 minutes and then I will hop in the shower. Fresh out of the shower now, as you can tell, I'm obsessed with this robe. It's from Skims. My mom got it for me for my birthday. And it's just the warmest, comfiest thing. I swear I live in it. So let's do some skincare, but first deodorant because I don't want to start sweating and then I'll stink. 
start with pink. As you can see, or maybe you can't, but it's like flat as paper. And then you wet it and it turns into a little sponge. It reminds me of those washcloths that when you were a kid, you put in the bath and they like expanded. It's also a really good way to exfoliate and exfoliating is so important to get all the dead skin off your face. Okay, I love these. This is like the best thing ever. It makes it so foamy. I'm obsessed. I use a new washcloth. <laughs> Yeah, wash gosh. New little towel every single time I wash my face. I feel like it helps keep like bacteria down and you can get a pack of these at Target for like five dollars and I just make sure I wash them every week in the washing machine obviously. Some drunk elephant moisturizer. I'm running low because Jesse uses all my nice products. This one is really thick and moisturizing. It's the Lala Retro Whipped Cream Rescue and Recover. It has lots of good stuff in it. I just use a little bit of eye cream. Keeps my under eyes really hydrated. And that is it for nighttime skincare. I don't do much because I think less is more when it comes to skincare. And I take my hair out. I always use this product from Joyco. It's the Defy Damage Protective Shield. So it protects against thermal and UV damage, but it also just feels really good on your hair. And I feel like it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner. So I run that all through. And I just brush it all through with my Tangle Teaser. Then, this is what we're working with. This is all my natural hair, not too much of it. I'm definitely not used to having thinner hair at the bottom, but the top is thick and it's getting there. So I'm hopeful that if I take good care of it, minimize heat, stop wearing extensions, that it will get back to its full potential in another six months or so. We'll see, it's not terrible. And it feels really good to not have extensions. Good morning, guys. It is the next day and I am currently headed to Starbucks because I was in the mood to eat breakfast at Starbucks today. And then I have an appointment to build a new Jeep. I have, oh, fuck. Okay, I'm not on the Starbucks drive-thru, but what I was saying was that I have a Jeep Wrangler right now and my lease is almost up, so I have to get a new one soon. And I think I'm just going to get an upgraded version of this. So I want it to be like a little bit lifted, have like leather interior, bigger screen. So I'm gonna go build that today and hopefully it goes well. I love my Jeep. I've always loved Jeeps. I've had like two now, I think. The first one was like a more car style Jeep. I guess and then this one's a wrangler and i love my wrangler so i'm just gonna get another wrangler they're badass and they're cool and i love them so that's what we're getting next and maybe one day we'll have a g-wagon maybe okay got my order i got the sausage egg and cheddar sandwich and then for my drink today i haven't had this one in a while but this one is just so good it's like a go-to when i can't think of what to order when i pull up sometimes i pull up and i'm literally like i go through like panic and i'm like oh my god i don't know what i want like what do i even order so i'm just like spit out the first thing that comes to my mind it's a venti ice white mocha with sweet cream cold foam and it's so good it's definitely not healthy it's like a sugar bomb it's like a dessert in a cup but it's really good we're treating ourselves today Mm, it tastes like McDonald's. Good. You guys know I love my Starbucks car chats. Jesse has been away in Netherlands for like eight days. I don't know if I mentioned that in yesterday's vlog portion, but he comes home tomorrow and I'm so excited. It feels so weird. I feel like I literally don't have a boyfriend right now. Not in like a bad way, but it's just like I haven't seen him in like almost 10 days. So I've just been doing my own thing every day. But I will say I don't necessarily hate it because when you spend every day with someone, you forget like the excitement when you haven't seen them in a while. So when he does go away and then he comes back, it's like the most exciting feeling and I just want to like hug him all day and stare at him All right, we're at the gym. I'm just drinking my energy drink I did stop at vitamin shop and I saw that they have these in stock So if you have a vitamin shop near you and you want to try this flavor, you can buy them there It is a bomb flavor though. It tastes like a real peach like not an artificial peach or like an artificial drink But like it tastes like when you bite a real peach. It's just so good. Anyway, as I said today's like day I want to have a good leg day. So let's do it
Okay, I've been so terrible at vlogging. It's Tuesday today. I vlogged a little bit this morning on my phone. I went and built my new Jeep that I will be getting in like eight or nine weeks or so. I've had my Jeep that I have now for like, I think almost five years or something. Also, let me move my iPhone tripod. I film so much stuff for TikTok every day. I feel like I get distracted and then I forget to film for YouTube. But I just ordered some stuff from the grocery store. I get my period soon. And I think that's why I have these cravings for all these weird things. But I saw a mom on TikTok stocking her son's mini fridge and she put these in it So I had to have these then I had to have Twizzlers because these are just like such a Satisfying thing to eat when you're watching TV and you just keep putting one after the other in your mouth And then got some cinnamon raisin bagels I'm in the mood for a bagel in the morning when I wake up I did get more bread because I was gonna make something but they were sold out of the other thing I needed I don't know if any of you guys have ever had cream chip beef from like the frozen aisle Sounds really weird, but I grew up eating it because my dad would always buy it and it's so good and I was gonna eat that but they didn't have it so instead I saw chocolate chip egos so I just ate two of these now I'm gonna eat this stuff it's all about balance you can't be healthy all the time sometimes I just have cravings for things and I'm like nothing else is gonna satisfy that except that one thing so I'm just gonna eat it it's really dark in here but it's nighttime there's only so much light that I have I've recently also been into eating tea eating tea drinking tea but I hate the one flavor that I have I have like the stress relief tea and it just doesn't taste that good so i ordered a whole set of teas off amazon so that i could have more flavors it's just like a soothing thing to have at night like a caffeine free hot tea with honey while you lay in bed that's how i know i'm getting older but i haven't had these in so long and they're so good if you've never had the flavor blasted cheddar goldfish and they're always better out of this big container as if i need all of this mm, it smells like my childhood they're just so good Mm, they're so full of flavor. Yeah, you want one too, don't you, Murphy? But you can't have this. I've been watching Jenny and Georgia. Normally I'm into like crime movies for some reason. I just find them so entertaining. I've always loved Law and Order. But lately I've been into, like I said, watching Ginny and Georgia. So I think I'm just gonna sit and watch that. And if you guys are watching it, let me know what you think of the second season. I watched the first season when it came out. And then now I'm on obviously season two. And Georgia is kind of scary. Like I love her, but in this season i feel like she's always plotting to do something crazy i don't know but it's entertaining and it's like really sweet and like some parts just make you want to cry so it's a good show It's the next day, obviously. I just made a bagel for breakfast and today is leg day. I skipped yesterday just because, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like I'm not in the mood and I don't really like wanna go and sometimes I just listen to myself. So I didn't go and now today I want it to be a really good leg day. I love leg day, it's my favorite day. It's just the most fun. Oh my God, there's cats everywhere. Murphy, Murphy, can you get down? Murph he doesn't like to listen. Ugh. So I'm just gonna eat this bagel, maybe have like a banana, maybe a protein bar. I like to eat posy. As I was saying, I like to eat a good amount before a leg day just because obviously I feel like the more I eat, the more energy I have. So, mm. 
Mm. This is just a cinnamon raisin bagel with vegan butter. And then of course I have an energy drink. I can't wait. I look forward to my energy drinks every day. I'm wearing my little urban outfitter zip up. I love this because it's so tiny. These leggings launched January 14th on Alphalete's website. They are just like a restock. This color went out of stock and it's a popular color along with a bunch of other popular colors. So if you love Amplify and you want some more, snag these on the 14th. Code Claudia if you want to save 10%. I think I'm going to have an Alani today. I obviously love my Alani's. I do also like this one Celsius drink because it's like a tea, not like a sparkling drink. And it's peach mango. And I love peach, as you know. This is one of my favorite flavors. I didn't get to show you guys on here. I just feel like so much time passed and like I missed a lot of things. But I actually went to LA in October and I did a photo shoot for this flavor and some other things for Alani. And it was just the most like cool experience ever. It was crazy. Like there was probably like 40 people on this set, people to come and walk you to the set when they need you, people to dress you, makeup, hair. It was just like, I didn't expect that. And it was just so cool and like such a fun experience and like made me see like what goes on behind the scenes for a lot of like big photo shoots that you see on the internet and things like that. I don't know. It was just a really cool experience in general. But if you didn't see it, I put some photos on my Instagram. I'll put some right here of how I looked. It was so cute. I was like a little cashier girl for the peach drinks and the peach pre-workout. And it's out of stock right now, I believe, but keep an eye out. Also, if you can go to the store and get it, I know they sell it at Vitamin Shop, Target, GNC, I think is all Alani carriers. So maybe check those stores out and see if you can get your hands on it. But this is definitely one of the best flavors and the packaging, this is just the cutest. Like it's so adorable. They have a really amazing designer. I mean, she does so much more than just design this, but she's just so talented. This is just the cutest thing ever. So yeah, I love these. I think I'm gonna have one of these today because I have so many of them. I have this plus a whole nother box that they sent me, which is so nice. And I just love my little energy drink while I drive to the gym. It's like such a motivating feeling. Anyway, let's get going. I'm back from the gym and I'm starving. Why do I feel like this whole video is me sitting here eating different food? I'm eating salmon and broccoli and rice for lunch. This is from the meal plan that I get. Let's try the salmon. Murphy, you're being bad. When did I get this? I'm blanking Fridays. Today's the fifth day. Hopefully it's fine. This is a random thought, but I thought I would share it to make anyone feel better because I feel like I might have needed someone to tell me this in the time that I was going through like a struggle. If you were watching TikTok or you're watching YouTube and something you're watching is making you feel bad about yourself or like it's just giving you anxiety, like you feel like you're not being productive enough or you're not doing this enough or you're not going to the gym or enough or like it's not benefiting you in a positive influence. It's just making you feel bad about yourself. Then there's nothing wrong with just turning it off and not going on for a little while. While. I think for like a week or two, I kind of avoided TikTok. I hardly went on it at all. It was kind of before I got into like making the videos that I make now on there, but I just felt like it wasn't benefiting me. And instead it was making me feel bad about myself. Like I would compare myself to all these other people that were posting all the time. And it just made me feel like I wasn't doing enough or like I wasn't productive enough or I wasn't working hard enough. And like, even though that may be true in that time, it was just making my anxiety worse. So not going on it honestly helped me so much. I just felt like I wasn't so consumed with it and like thinking about that and instead I was worrying about myself and what I can do and what I am capable of in those moments. Same goes for YouTube, same goes for any other social media app. It's not supposed to make you feel negative, it's supposed to influence you in a positive way. And if it's not, either unfollow the person that is making you feel bad, even if it's me, I hope it's not me, but I just feel like there's nothing wrong with like deleting it or staying off it for a while until you feel better, you feel more positive. So I just feel like I went through like a rough patch of time and it was kind of around the time that I started taking anxiety medicine, which I talked about before in my previous vlog, I think it was. And I feel like it might be starting to slightly work now. I've been on it for over a month. So I'm feeling more myself, more like positive and energetic every day. And like, I wanna get up and do productive things. I love filming the little TikTok vlogs that I do because it kind of like holds me accountable and makes me excited to get up and like do my routine every day instead of just kind of like sitting around and being sluggish and waiting to go to the gym till later. And like, you know, that's my little rant of the moment, but I just, I feel like there's nothing wrong with having to turn it all off for a while until you feel better. Jesse's home from his 
10 day trip, so I thought I would record when he comes in the door. Hello. Hello. I see you in the. Damn it! <laughs> Are you filming it? I was gonna oh. scare you. I'm so tired. Oh, oh you God. smell good. You feel so little. <laughs> Did I love you. Cologne? I'm so tired. It hurts. Take your back.